everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and this is what I say about food. And this is what I say about Ontario grown swan gourds. If you've never seen these, they are probably the coolest gourds you've ever done seen. All right, these guys are called swan gourds or geese gourds because it actually looks like a swan or a goose. Its neck grows like this and it grows just like any other squash or pumpkin on the vine. And you can get these at Harvest Barn Country Markets right now. And there's two locations in Southern Ontario. One is in St. Catharines and one is in Niagara-on-the-Lake. These are from my Niagara-on-the-Lake store. These are so, so cute. And I thought they were even cooler with these, this really cool little stand that makes it look like a duck or a goose or a swan, I guess. And you just put it in here and it almost looks like it's saluting you. Hello. So you put it right out front your door. I have that in my, on my front porch and it salutes everyone as it comes as they come. Now you're really wondering, are these guys edible? These guys, many people don't eat these. In fact, they use them to, uh, they dry them out completely and then they make dishes and bowls and even in musical instruments out of them, okay? However, in some Asian cuisine, in some Indian cuisine, they eat gourds like this. And I'm going to experiment with these and I'm going to cook with them eventually once, uh, we're done looking at this guy anyway. This one's gonna be more experimented on. So some of them look like this, okay? And some of them really do look like a really nice swan or goose. So get out there to Harvest Barn and get one of these guys and a cool stand because I just, it's so adorable. And now I can use this stand any year I find them. Cool. The yeah. outer skin is very, very hard, okay? and. That's why it's um, usable for making bowls and things like that. If you want to dry these guys out, you need to do it in a very dry area that's dark. You're going to leave this guy in here after you're done viewing him for the season outside. You're going to put him in this area and you're going to let him just dry out, chill out. You're going to move him from side to side every couple days or a week and you're gonna make sure that it's not rotting. If it's rotting or molding, chunk it out, okay? If you see any spots like that, you can always scrub them off with a little bit of bleach and all is well. And within a couple months, you should have a nice dried out um, hard shell. You can make a hole, cut a hole into the side, you know, this side that maybe it was um, laying on when it grew. Cut a triangle, triangular hole out and you can scrape the seeds out and scrape anything else out in there that's um, not drying well. And then you can glue that part back in if you want, okay? Also, you're, once it's dry, you're gonna hear those seeds just clanging around in there. That's how you'll know it's, it's ready to go. Anyway, this is a swan board, and it's cool that it's grown in Ontario. I didn't know that we could grow things like this in Ontario. It's the coolest thing ever. Um, so make sure you get out there. You're going to really love it. You can check them out online too at harvestbarn.ca for more information, especially if you're not in our area. When you come down to Niagara, make sure you get out to the barn because they bring really cool things in from within about a hundred mile radius. Very local. They support local farmers and local business. Great, right? So check them out. They have all kinds of cool squashes. They've got turban squash and fairy tale pumpkins and things like that. Make sure you check out my other reviews. I was really excited when I went out there. I love this this season. Um, although it's getting nice and cold and you know it's going to be winter before long, it's a nice season. It's got really cool vegetables, really nice harvest going on, and they bring in really cool stuff. So go get out there. You're going to love it. All right. That's what I say about Ontario swan gourds. And that's it. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly, and you can find me syndicated on Roku. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us. Let us know what's going down in your culinary world. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.